Good day, Tagumpay National High School. I am Jennifer H. Cano, ICT and LIS Coordinator of San Mateo Senior High School, Microsoft Education Ambassador and Google Certified Educator. I am currently teaching computer programming. I am very honored to be part of the in-service training of Tagumpay National High School. Thank you for inviting me, Ma'am Susan Sakatrapos and Ma'am Anne Michelle Medina. I am now assigned to discuss about the creation of session learning using Microsoft PowerPoint screen recording. But before we start, let me give you some PowerPoint trick which is about the compressed data. So compressed data is being used when your file is too large to be sent into an email. So for example, you are inserting a video in your PowerPoint slide. So insert video. So I have my video on my PC and I will be inserting it. Then after that, I will go to File, Info, and Compress Media. So I'll be just choosing standard for ATP. And then the compression in, is in progress. So the initial size of or the actual size of the video is 106 MB. And then as it was compressed, it is now 73.6 MB. You can also undo and then choose full HD, HD and standard. So when you, when you insert video, you can also bookmark it. How will you bookmark? You just add bookmark, add bookmark, and then add bookmark. So when you play, just go to the bookmark. So that is how to compress your video using PowerPoint. Another one is using the morph transition. So morph transition is applicable, applicable only in PowerPoint 2019. So what is a morph transition? When you say morph, it allows you to animate smoothly the movement from one slide to the next. So I have here an example of three planets on the first slide. So I will be copying it. And then on the second slide, I'll be moving the planets as well as the logo. And then I'll be applying the morph transition by clicking the transition tab and then the morph. So as I play the slide, the planets move. So that is morph transition. So what is recording in PowerPoint? You turn a slide presentation in a video recording that has narration. You record the presentation in PowerPoint and then share it with your audience who can watch it as a PowerPoint show or as a video. Some educators use recorded lessons as part of a flipped classroom. The recording tab in PowerPoint gives you this ability and goes even further with more interactive elements like quizzes to include in presentation. Your interactive video can contain audio narration, video narration which is for Office 365 subscribers only, screen recordings that show actions you take on your computer, quizzes and polls, simulations, videos, and live web pages, and real-time digital inking, which is again for Office 365 subscribers only. Why should I use recording in PowerPoint? You can create interactive lessons that can be watched one time or as many times as a student need to, can be watched sped up or slowed down from the beginning or from any slide, Contain quizzes that check student comprehension. Contain audio and video using your webcam and built-in microphone or any other audiovisual peripherals attached to your PC. 
shows you speaking directly to students. It shows you ink being drawn on key parts of, our, of your slide to focus your students' attention. And it includes screen recordings of other applications running on your windows. So let us now start. I'll be demonstrating three PowerPoint screen recording. Screen recordings that show us action you take on your computer, audio generation, and video narration. So start with the screen recording that shows actions you take in your computer. You open a blank presentation, go to insert, and then click screen recording. So in the screen recording, you can show an application, web browser, game, and etc. So I am choosing Microsoft Visual Code. So I'll be selecting the area of the visual code. And then after you select, is you click record. As you can see, there is the tool, th there is the toolbar here. So it has the record, the stop, select area, and audio and record pointer. So I'll be clicking the record. So it has here the dialog box that says, it has the, time, the timer. So I'll be typing the HTML code. So I, I will be teaching the different headings in HTML. So the title of the heading is, the title is heading. And then HTML has five, six headings. So I'll be typing the code. And I'll be saving it. And then I'll be, I'll stop the recording. So once you stop recording, it will be inserted on the slide. So as you can see, there are two additional tabs in PowerPoint, the video format and then the playback. So when you click the video format, it has, div it has different commands. The first one is play. And then the second one is correction. So you can change the brightness, the contrast of your video. And then the color, you can change the color of the video. You can, al you can also add poster frame. So it may be image from file or stock images, and then you can reset designs. And then in the video styles, there are different video styles here. So you can change it into circle, you can change the border, you can have, there are three different types, so the subtle, moderate, and intense. And then there is the video shape, you can change the shape of the video. You can turn it into heart shape or smiley. And then it has also the video border, the weight, the dashes, the video effects. And then you can also crop the video. And then in the playback tab, you also have the play. You can, you can add bookmark. For example, you want to skip into, just add the bookmark. You can also trim the video by clicking this. And then if there are unnecessary part of the video, you can trim it. And then you click OK. You can also adjust the volume of the video. If it is low, medium, high, or mute, you can loop and you can loop until stop the video, rewind after playing, and then you can also insert captions. So that is the screen recording to any application. The second one is the screen recording with audio. 
So, I have here an example of my PowerPoint presentation. Again, you go to Insert. Screen Recording again. And then you go to the PowerPoint presentation. Select Area. And then you click Record. So, you just be saying what is stated in your slide. So, for example, designing effective PowerPoint presentations. Clear, consistent, big, progressive, simple. Big. Make it big. So, after that, you click stop. So again, your video, your screen recording will be saved on this slide. Next one. Next one is the screen recording with video. So again, I have here an example of my PowerPoint presentation. So you go to recording and then you go to record slide show. I'll be recording from the beginning. So I'll be clicking record from beginning. You'll be you'll click start recording. Computer parts. There are many parts that work together to make a computer work. Hardware. Physical parts of the computer including processor and memory chips, input output devices, tapes, disk modems, cable, etc. CPU, the central processing unit. Computer case contains the major components of the computer. It helps protect them. So you'll be stopping it. And then you can replay. Okay. When you play your PowerPoint presentation, your video is now inserted. I have example of my co-teacher's work in San Mateo Senior High School during our inset. So I'll be showing you the first example, which is from Mam Nimfa Madalura. Reminder number two. Wash your hands. It may seem odd, but in many cases, it's just that simple. The easiest way and most effective to eliminate the spread of disease is to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or sing happy birthday in your head. Hand sanitizers contain... Okay, that is with video narration. Another one is from... Ma'am Melodine Antonio, this is with audio narration. Huling hiling ni Den Antonio. Daddy's girl ako, nag-iisang anak kasi eh. Sunod sa layaw at luho. Sobrang close kami ni Dad. Kasabay ng madalas niyang pangiliti sa akin, ay ang walang kamatay niyang request na, basahan mo naman ako ng tula o. Oh. Please, madalas yung gawa niyang tula ang binabasa ko. Tapos sasabihin niya, ang galing talaga mo. And then, the last one is from Sir Michael Ramos. So, he's teaching math. So, it is also a video narration. Good day, everyone. Our topic for today is about the differentiation rules. In our previous lesson, the delta method and the definition of the derivative were used before we proceed, let us take note of the following ways of writing the derivatives of a function. The first one is the derivatives so he is using of y the with ink or the to pen. X. This is also written as dy over. DX.
once, there was a school that wanted a better way to bring teachers and students together to collaborate, explore, and boost outcomes. Then one day, they discovered the solutions offered by Windows 10. From kindergarten to college to career and beyond, they found that Windows grows with students to help them achieve a wide range of learning milestones, all on one platform. They loved using Windows Inc., a powerful tool that lets them capture ideas quickly and naturally, which fosters creativity, boosts retention, and improves outcomes for everyone. By using Office 365, the school saw how students and educators could collaborate on the same documents in real time, whether they're in the next classroom or the other side of the world. The school was proud to increase productivity and inclusion. With tools built into Office 365 or their Windows 10 device, students with disabilities can communicate, consume, and create content more independently, efficiently, and confidently. The school also became a safer place to learn. With the most advanced security technology, Windows 10 helps protect students from malware and malicious sites. And Windows 10 is compatible with a huge range of devices, as well as next-generation educational resources, like 3D printers and mixed reality. The school could even use Microsoft Intune for Education to simplify deployment and management of PCs, devices, and applications, all through the cloud. So the IT team was able to transform the educational experience while keeping teachers in control. And because Microsoft is committed to improving education for everyone, the school acquired the cloud-based Office 365 education free for the entire school. With all the benefits Microsoft Education provides students, educators, and IT administrators, the school found exactly what it was looking for. It's a great time to be learning. For the training output, turn any of your lesson in video narration in PowerPoint screen recording and submit it to the link. To get Microsoft Certificate and Redeem Points, you type education.microsoft.com in your browser. After typing it, you sign in your Microsoft account. You click your profile picture and go to redeem achievement code. And then you type there the achievement code. And click redeem code. So after that, you have completed the following training. So when you click your profile, you will see different badges that you have earned. And those are certif... Uh, it will also have a certificate that you can print. Thank you very much again. I hope that PowerPoint screen recording will help you in the new normal. God bless and stay safe.